we need to find this limit. So the first thing that we want to do is take x to infinity and see what would happen in this function. Well, the x goes to infinity. The e to the 4x would also go to infinity. And infinity times infinity is just infinity. It's not an indeterminate form. So this problem is finished automatically. But as always, when problems go that quickly, I feel a little bit unsatisfied and I'd like to do a bonus problem. What if we wanted to find the limit as x goes to infinity of x e to the negative 4x? Well, the first thing that you would do is algebra. e to the negative 4x can go to the denominator because of the negative power. And if you try to plug in x going to infinity, you're going to get infinity over infinity, which is an indeterminate form. And the Hopital's rule can be used. Take the derivative of the numerator, x, that's 1. Take the derivative of the denominator, that's 4e to the 4x. And now see what happens if we take x to infinity. Well, you'll still have 1 in the numerator, but the denominator goes to infinity, so our limit should be 0. Okay, we got two problems in in record time. Good job.